Welcome back to Yoga Express, your personal stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh and I'm your host for this program and today we have four wonderful participants, a few of whom you have seen in several episodes before, one of them you've seen in quite a few episodes before. We have a return participant who has been wonderfully sporting and she's back for more as well. And we have a new face here today. I will start our introductions with Omar Aquino. Omar, did I say your name right? Yeah. Okay, tell us a little bit about yourself. You, you can help us understand a little more about you. Have you practiced yoga before? Uh, I have not practiced uh, Hatha yoga. Okay. I recently learned Kriya yoga about a year ago, and I've been practicing that and it's mainly just a sitting meditation. Okay. okay, so Kriya Yoga is meditation. Yeah. So you're basically narrowing your thoughts from many to one and then one to none. Is that how you well, go? That's the goal. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good. When you talked about Hatha Yoga, what is your understanding of Hatha Yoga? How, do you, how does your school help you approach that? Um, you talk it's just, just online research. I've Okay. I've recognized that there are a lot of different forms of yoga. Right, right. And so Very hatha, confusing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and the way I've figured it is that hatha mainly pertains to the, the positions, the assignments. The physical side, yeah. the postures, yes. And, and the breathing. It's good that you mentioned because you're actually on the right track. A lot of people, especially in North America, feels Ashtanga as the physical side, whereas Ashtanga involves a lot of other things. But that's beautiful. You've heard of Hatha Vinyasa? No. Vinyasa is just a flow. So it's still postures, but they flow one after the other. As a matter of fact, that's what, for our viewers at home, we have a lot of support for you. We have a postcard with 48 ailment-specific stretches which flow one to the other. We also have a fridge magnet with the same sequence. I'm not sure which camera, someone's gonna pick it up. And we will give you both of these, plus a book called Yoga Secrets, which has all the postures with separate sequences, uh, ailment-specific sequence cards in them, but not till you come on the show. And this way you know you have something to work with when you go home. Before I forget, um, Omar, would you like to add anything else? Do you have any other passions other than yoga? Uh, Maybe yoga is not your passion yet, but it will be. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to share with us? Um, yeah, the, the reason I was looking for a place to do yoga or something of that nature is I just started massage therapy school. Nice. Uh, at, <coughs> at a Asian-oriented school, so they're right. new on Qigong. Yeah, <laughs> but you'd like to combine your skills yeah. at the massage therapy class. Yeah, our teacher said yoga. Qigong was very similar to yoga, so Apparently you know, they could be interchanged. Absolutely. I'm so glad you're here, and that's wonderful. So maybe one of these days when we finish Yoga Nidra, you can give us a little bit of a massage. Get some practice <laughs> on hand, hands-on practice, right? Yes. But that'll be wonderful. Thank you, Omar, for coming here today. You've been very sporting. To my immediate right, we have Talisa Michela. Talisa, thank you for coming back. I enjoyed being back. Um, I was just experiencing, um, taking a view of watching Yoga Express myself at home at one time, and I, it was just so beautiful to see a reoccurrence of what we're trying to do and explain to others how to do so in this program. So I'm just really honored to actually be on your show. Oh, we love again. having you here, and that's such a wonderful endorsement. Anyone who feels motivated to come back to this show is always welcome back. Not that the others are not. Everyone is welcome, but it's always inspiring to have someone come back because that says that we are doing something right. So it's wonderful to have you. 
and viewers at home will also notice. Watch how each one of us may be at different levels at any particular time and don't get disillusioned. Some, some participants may be at a very deeper level because they practice elsewhere as well. You do practice at other schools too, I right? I practice at other schools. I actually ran into my um, teacher yesterday right. at the supermarket. It was really amazing. She was right behind me. I just turned to her and it's like, you taught me last week. <laughs> nice. And I just, um, the yoga on many levels is just like, you have so many different poses. Right. Um, it's, just, it's just getting through the poses and learning and respecting your body. Oh, I'm going sure. through it. So I'm just really excited to be here. Yeah, um, that's wonderful. That's a good point you brought up, respecting your body, knowing its limitations, and acknowledging your strengths as well. So you may have, uh, you may be able to do a lot of back bends. Hi, Danny. Hi. You may be able to do wonderful back bends. You might find balance is not your favorite, but then you know what you're looking for, so you know what you want to work towards. So that's wonderful. Thank you, and welcome back. Thank you. We have Josiane Hurd to my immediate left. Josiane, mm -hmm. everybody knows you, but there's always someone new out there who wants to know a little more about you. Please tell us a little more. Okay, well, um, okay. Um, to I'm say one, a few words what I've done is sailing, uh, martial art, uh, boxing, um, and a lot of other things in between. And my link, of course, was yoga. Right. <laughs> I know, Josiane, I know you love yoga, and we love having you here. We especially like having Josie in here on our show because she's always looking for new ways to address very familiar postures. She's always adding a little bit. And every now and then, she's Josie is wonderful for giving me a wrap on the wrist if I forget to balance the postures on the other side. So thank you for coming back, Josie And we hope you'll stay with us for a long time. Thank Jamie you. Avery, to my extreme left. Jamie, tell us Hi. a little more about yourself. Anything you want to share? Well, it's great to be here. Um, I'm a native New Yorker, and I've taken lots of yoga classes in the city. Um, it's so great to be here. Nothing compared to ours, right? Yeah. <laughs> here at and Manhattan Neighborhood Network on TV, doing our yoga together and relaxing. It's, it's fantastic. I'm a healthcare professional. Right. I'm a clinical social worker. Nice. Um, so this is, is real important, I know. Um, so, and, um, you know, and in my spare time, I enjoy writing and also a producer here of a talk show. That's true. That's true. You, you, because you're in healthcare, uh -huh. you understand the value of preventive healthcare as well. So this is really wonderful. And yes. I really appreciate mm -hmm. that you're back here too, Jamie, because you can give us another dimension. So every now and then, if we're doing something that you think helps with what, you know, what you are sharing with your clients as well, you can always tell us. When we're in a posture, you can say, oh, this helps the spine, or this helps something else. Feel free to speak out as we're in the postures, too. Yeah, well, they do say that um, I think 99% of anxiety is muscle tension. So if you suffer from anxiety or nervousness, I, relaxing the muscles is first the first thing you can do to help yourself. And we have a massage therapist to help us <laughs> ease that, right? What a combination. Yeah. And talking about tension, too, um, Jamie, I, I do want to remind our viewers at home as well, a lot of the times we hold our tension in our trapezius muscles, correct? Just below the neck. So we develop what's called lactic acid and there are little knots performing there. Uh, they form over there, right there at the base of the neck and when you start massaging, they ease the tension. But for viewers at home, if you're just stretching with us, that itself is gonna help you relax because you're actually going to stretch and build a kind of inner heat, release all those wonderful endorphins. Today we're gonna to take you through, you wanted to start with twists, right Josie? Oh, and I tomorrow we'll do forward falls. We all love twists, so we're gonna take you through a lot of twists. You might notice this sequence of ours is actually categorized. You can select about eight to 10 twists and just focus on twists for one day. Another day you can do balance postures, another day it's forward folds. Before we move on, we're gonna get started with that, but we have a lot of other support for you as well. We have a website, yogaexpress.com, that's Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com, -S and a blog, yogaexpress.blogspot.com. And if you will send me an email, I can send you an invitation to come stretch with us. Besides the book, the postcard, and the fridge magnet, we do air this program five days a week, Monday through Friday, 1.30 in the afternoon, Eastern Time, Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. So stay with us, stretch with us, and just give yourself about 20 minutes every day for your personal workout. So let's start stretching. Are we all ready? I don't 
hear anyone saying yes. <laughs> okay. And as we move on, I also want to thank, sometimes we do run out of time, so I want to thank a wonderful crew, our director Jabari Osazi. Jabari, thank you. And the volume of the music is just perfect. We have Kenny Ryan on camera, and we have Danny Darrow on camera as well. Rich Spezial is our facilitator. He has set up these wonderful lights right here. Okay, let's go with twists. Uh, do you have the postcards with you? I'm going to loan you some. I'm going to take them back. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes. Just in case we need to make a reference to the posture numbers. Omar, you can keep yours. You're coming for the first time, so that's yours. Okay, let's go with posture number four. It's not a total twist right away, but it is a twist because we will actually be uh, compressing one side and stretching on the other side, so that's as good as a twist. So let's all turn to our left. Okay. It's called Trikonasana. Trikon, three is three, cone is corner, three corners or triangle. Bring your legs out about three and a half feet apart, depending on how tall. Jamie and Talisa, you guys, you folks are, in fact, everyone here is taller than I am. So if I can go three feet at least, the rest of you should be able to go three and a half feet. Put your brakes on, so bring your toes in. Make sure the insides of your feet are parallel to each other. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep your arms right there at shoulder height. Look to your right and turn your right foot out. Now, once your right foot is out, we're gonna try and transition three postures, one after the other. Even though this is not a transition sequence, you will feel the twist a lot more when you do them one after the other. Now, lean to the right just a little bit to get that extra stretch out of your body. Exhale, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Take your left arm all the way up. Both palms face forward. Look up at your raised hand. Now, if your palm or your fingertips do not touch the floor today, some of you may have your whole palm on the floor, as Josiane does. Some of us may have our fingertips down, as Omar and I have. So if your palms do not touch or your fingertips do not touch the floor, it's okay. Place your hands at your ankles. Whatever you do, you should feel a wonderful stretch in your adductor muscles on the inside of your upper right thigh. More than that, you should feel a beautiful compression of your obliques on the right side. That's the idea in this posture. Keep holding. Inhale, let's come up. Turn your right foot in and turn your left foot out and look to the left. Lean a little bit to your left side to get a little more mileage out of your stretch. So get a little more of a stretch right there. Turn your left foot out. Make sure the heel of the left foot is perpendicular to the inside, the inner sole of the right foot. Now, exhale, dip your left palm in front of your left ankle. Take the right hand all the way up. Both palms face forward. Look up at the raised arm. Bring your right shoulder out back just a little bit. So keep taking your right shoulder back and hold. You should feel that beautiful stretch on the inside of your upper left thigh this time. More than that, you will also feel a wonderful compression of your obliques on the left side of your waist. Inhale, come up. Keep your arms right there. It's a test of your arm strength. Bring the left foot in. Turn the right foot out one more time. This time we're going to take the posture one step further. We are going to exhale. As we exhale, we will bend the right knee. So the heel of the right foot is perpendicular to the sole of the inner sole of the left foot. Lean forward just a little bit. Exhale and bend. Keep bending as long as you can feel that stretch on the inside of your upper right thigh. You will also feel a little bit of tension in your quadriceps on the right leg. Does everyone feel that? Yes. Keep dipping your hip. Get closer and closer till you form a nice L with your right leg to the floor. Now, keep exhaling. Dip your right hand in front of the right ankle. Left arm goes all the way up, and if you want to challenge yourself just a little more, take your left arm all the way overhead. So we entered this posture, Veera Bhadra Kona, from Veera Bhadra. Veera Bhadra means brave 
warrior. Veera is brave. Bhadra is soldier or warrior. Hold and look up at your extended arm. Look up, so that'll help you take your left shoulder back. Inhale, let's come up. Take, bring both the arms up to shoulder height. Release the right leg. Turn the right foot in. Turn the left foot out. Look to the left. Exhale. Bend the left leg at the knee. Keep exhaling. And dip your left palm in front of your left ankle. Take the right arm all the way overhead. And if you want to challenge yourself, take the right arm right over. Palm faces down. This is also a wonderful stretch for your triceps, but you should feel that beautiful pelvic stretch and a tighten of your quads on the left leg. More than that, it's a compression of your obliques on the left side. Inhale, let's come out of that. Release the left leg, turn the left foot in. Let's wiggle our feet closer together. Exhale and release. We're gonna to turn to face the camera right here. So we did three postures. We transitioned one after the other from Trikon, triangle, went to Virabhadra and Virabhadra Kona. Now, if you feel this stretch, this twist is a little too intense for you, I don't think, was it too intense for any of us? No. My balance was a little tricky. That's all right. We're, it's not a balanced sequence, so it's okay. But did you feel a twist in your waist? Yes. Then we've served the purpose for today, so that's okay. <laughs> Now, every day, keep a target for yourself, keep a theme. If you have, if you're planning on doing twists today, you want to target your obliques. The midpoint, I know I need to target my midpoint because I have this man's feel, it's not going away, but it'll go one of these days. Then stay with that and don't let anything else deter you. If you lose your balance in these postures, it's okay because it's not a balanced sequence today. So stay where we are. Now, this time we're gonna go into a posture called Parswa Kona Namaskara. Let's go back, stagger back a little bit. Josiane, maybe you want to go forward just a little. Josiane and Omar come back. So we're giving each other enough room. Heels are together, toes slightly apart. Just measure approximately with your eye and bring the right foot forward. Since we're not going sequentially, your approach to this posture will be a little different. We're only doing twists today. So wiggle your left foot as far back as you can. Make sure both feet are facing straight ahead. Exhale and bend your right knee. So your left heel comes off of the floor. So your feet are left foot is curled in. Very gently place the left foot on the floor. And I need a little bit of padding, so I'm going to come forward just a little bit. Do we have an audience here? <laughs> Uncurl the toes on your left foot. <clears throat> Exhale and keep dipping. Bring your hip close to the floor. So I like to say dip your hip. If you feel your knee, just, uh, Jamie, you're in health healthcare, so you might feel the knee is too way past the toes. Mm -hmm. If you feel that's a concern, bring your, wiggle your toes forward just a little bit. Keep exhaling and dip. Left, right knee is up, left arm goes up. Inhale the left arm. You should feel another twist. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right. And place your right palm, Josiane, you're ahead of us already. You love twists, don't you? Place your right palm on your left palm. Bring your right elbow all the way up and hold. You should feel a beautiful twist on the right side of your obliques in this posture, in this side of the posture. You should also feel a wonderful stretch on the left side of the waist. Other than that, you'd feel a beautiful compression. We need to know all the benefits. You will also sense a wonderful compression of your lower abdomen on the right side on your upper right thigh. Inhale, ease off just a little bit. Place your palms on the floor beside your right foot. Very gently, we're gonna switch legs as gracefully as we can. We're gonna take the right leg back, mm -hmm. bring the left leg forward, left foot comes forward. Wiggle your left foot forward just a little bit. Uncurl the toes in your right leg and come forward. Just like Talisa did just now, just ease into that posture very gently. Keep exhaling as you go, the deeper you go. The more you want to exhale. With every exhale, your posture becomes that much easier. Left knee is up, right arm goes up. Inhale, exhale, dip your right elbow over your left knee. Place your left palm on top of your right palm and make sure your left elbow is all the way up. Look up at your raised elbow. 
If it con concerns you that your knee is too far over your toes, feel free to wiggle them forward. We take a few liberties with, our, with yoga posture sometimes, but you don't want to hurt yourself, so be careful. Hold. Inhale, release the posture. We're gonna come down in a seated position. Ardha Matsyendra. Ardha is half. Matsy is fish. Matsyendra is lord of the fishes. Ardha Matsyendra literally is half lord of the fishes. Tuck your left heel under the right butter. Right foot, use the props that you already have. Right foot goes over the left knee. Now your right knee is up, so the left arm will go up. You always want to balance. Even within the same posture, you want to make sure that you're balanced. Make sure your right foot is flat on the floor beside your left knee. Push your right knee in and torque your upper body to the right just a little bit. So you already have, you're already halfway into the position. I can sense Josie nodding her head. You feel very comfortable. Oh, you yeah. love this, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Push your right knee in. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right and push the knee further in. Try to hold on to the left knee if you can. If you feel that's a little uncomfortable, wiggle your right foot forward just a little bit. That'll give you that extra leverage. And if you don't want to hold on to your left knee, it's okay. It's just that you have something to hold on to so you don't snap apart. You can always place your left hand on your right thigh, outside of the right thigh. Place your right hand behind you and twist. Keep exhaling. With every sip of air that you get out of your body, you will be able to twist a little deeper. Inhale, release the left hand first, and then the right foot, untangle yourself, and let's switch legs. What's really happening in this twist is when we twist our torso, when we twist our upper body from left and then to the right, we're actually squishing. Just think of yourself as a rag cloth. That doesn't sound very nice, but what we're doing is we're squishing all the air so we're really creating a kind of a tourniquet in that section of the body so there's no blood flowing through and then suddenly when you release, fresh blood and fresh oxygen rushes to that spot so you feel wonderful. And that's what's giving us that endorphin high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tuck your right heel under your left buttock. Take your left foot over the right knee. Push your left knee in and torque your upper body to the left. Make sure your left foot is flat on the floor. Now this time, let's try a little, okay. something a little different. Let's see if we can do it without the help. We're five minutes, great, thank you, Danny. Place your left palm behind you, and let's see if we can try and get the, actually it's more for me, I'm really talking to myself on this one. Let's see if we can get an elbow over the left knee. Inhale the right arm up, exhale, dip the right elbow over the left knee, push it in, and hold on to your right knee, and turn back. Hold, when we say hold, it's hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale and release. Release the hand first, and then the leg, and then let's get some feedback. How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Does that feel wonderful? Mm -hmm. I actually did it. <laughs> yeah, no, you did amazing. I think we all, how do you feel, Omar? I want to get a little bit of feedback. We have a few it's, minutes. It's good. Feels good? <laughs> you didn't feel that? You don't feel tortured. If you felt good, we were doing it. You were doing it right. Not, not switching. No. <laughs> That's good. It does feel wonderful, especially the twists make us feel really good because, like I said, it's that fresh blood that's rushing to that region that's been deprived for a few seconds. Okay, let's try one more twist. I'm gonna go back just a little bit. Keep your left leg extended. I think we already had the left leg halfway out. So extend your left leg out in front of you. Bend the right leg at the knee. And you have your right leg a little bit to the right. You can move it sideways a little bit if you want. And then talk your body. Twist your body a little bit to the left. And then once you are nice and secure in position, make sure that you're facing the extended leg. <clears throat> what we're going to place your left hand behind you. Inhale the right arm up high, Keith. Exhale and fold forward. Wrap your right hand around your right knee. And Talisa is already there. <laughs> hold on, hold on to your left hand from behind. Clasp the opposite fingers and then turn to look back. 
Now you want to make sure that your neck is up, your chest is open, as open as you can be in this posture. And look back. Keep your shoulders nice and open. Inhale, release. And let's switch legs. Extend the right leg out. Fold the left leg at the knee. Hi, Travis. We have an extra mat. Plenty in the bag. Okay, make sure that your upper body is facing the extended leg. You want to bring your left knee out just a little bit and then talk your upper body to the right. Inhale, so the left knee is up, left arm goes up this time. Exhale and fold. Wrap your left hand around your left knee. Take your right hand from behind and clasp the opposite hands. Clasp the opposite fingers. And then straighten your upper body and look behind. Inhale, release. Very gently release the hands first and then the legs. What we're going to do is we're going to do one more twist. I think we have time for maybe two twists. We have two minutes. Thank you, Danny. Mm -hmm. We might be able to get in two more twists by Travis. Mm -hmm. Well, let's keep both your feet extended. Both your legs are extended. Feet are flexed. Place both your palms to your left. One palm, the right palm can be close to your left hip. The left palm goes back just a little bit. Now, if you feel that folding over is going to be a little difficult for you on this side, what you can do is bring your, take your palms away from your body. That will help you get a little deeper. Now, I'm going to place it somewhere at midpoint. And don't worry if your forehead doesn't touch the ground. The idea is to try and feel the twist in your midriff. Exhale and dip. Make sure your buttock, right buttock, is on the floor. Keep your feet flexed. Inhale. Let's come up. And now let's take turn to the other side. Exhale and dip. Sukta paribrata. We are being timed out. But you know, inhale. Let's come out. We don't want to give up without going through the very last one. Let's come on our back. Our director is timing us out. We're just. Almost there. I'm going to un undo this. Supta Parivritta. Extend your right leg, left leg out. Bend the right leg at the knee. Hold on to your right knee with your left hand. Place your right hand on your right hip. Look to the right. Exhale and fold. Push your left, right knee over to the left side. Inhale. Come back. In position, extend the right leg out, bend the left leg at the knee, exhale and push the right left knee over to the right side, look to the left. You should feel a wonderful twist on your obliques on the left side. Inhale and release. Folks at home, if you've been twisting with us, remember we're always here to help you. Thank you for stretching with us. My name is Banu Suresh and this is Yoga Express.